Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a uh, kind of a discussion type of video, and what we wanted to discuss was Walking Dead. Now, we're, what, three or four episodes away from the finale of season six? Yeah, I think three. Yes, and and it is well known, it's widely known, that the finale is going to introduce a very new character, a very important character to the Walking Dead lore, and that is one Mr. Negan, uh, played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan. And leading up to this point, uh, me and Rob had a discussion, uh, so that kind of like sparked this this debate. And this past um, Sunday's episode of this recording, when Rick and his gang went to the Savers compound and murdered all of them in their sleep, uh, kind of raised this question of, is Rick still a good guy? Is Rick as bad as Negan? Or is just Negan just misunderstood? Now, we both have our... Um, differences of opinion. Before we go on with this, um, if you haven't read the comics, there's going to be some major spoilers in here. So yeah, I guess we should discredit if that. You, uh, if you don't want to hear them, stop listening right now. Um, <laughs> also, also we're, go- we're going to be blending in both the comic book versions of Rick Grimes' character and Negan, because Negan has not uh, appeared on the show, so we can't really judge his character on screen. So it's just going to be a, a big like mess of everything um so you're gonna get show references comic references and whatnot so they did their job um this past sunday kind of blurring the lines of rick and i guess his moral compass because he wanted to end the saviors quickly there was people who opposed that one morgan who wanted to talk to him um and going to the casual fan i think it is pretty much like 50 50 almost in regard to, was Rick in the right of doing this, or was Rick, like, he shouldn't have done that? So, Rob, what did what did you think? Like, I get why Rick did it. Like, I get he wants to get food for his people and everything. But, like, he just kind of went a little overboard with it. Like, uh, you don't need to kill people in their sleep. Like, just jab a knife right in their head. No remorse at all. Like, he, he was fine with it. He's... He's just beyond, like, repair, pretty much. <laughs> like, he just doesn't care. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, even look at um, when he killed uh, Jesse. Oh, yeah. He was just, he was so into her. He literally killed her husband. Look, yeah, he killed, he pulled a, sh- he, he, pulled, he killed her husband. Like, he didn't have to get involved in that at all. Yeah. But he did. And well, then he killed her. I mean, there was other things to that. Yeah. But that's besides the point. He just straight up, like, Jesse wouldn't let go of Carl. Jesse just got her hand just wrecked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, but but it also comes to the to the point like you're killing or you're eliminating a threat before it happens. So it's kind of like Minority Report. Like you do you you nip it in the bud before it becomes like a weed that you can't like take out. I mean, I would consider Rick a threat. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> so why didn't you just give it to him? <laughs> All right, so Negan, um, he kills a major character in the comic books. He kills Glenn because um, Rick kills a bunch of saviors and pretty much Negan wants revenge and to show him that they're not the baddest group in town. So it's kind of like a, a power play. So that's why he killed him. Not out of... Well, he he played like any Mina Miney Mo in the comic books, and that's how he decided to kill Glenn. So it's kind of a look at the draw for Glenn. Uh, we don't know if that's going to happen in the show. Uh, we we think it is. I think there's a st- chance it might be Daryl. So whoever he ends up killing is going to be big, and it's going to shake the foundation of it. But Negan is still a, a bully, and I feel that Rick still has a a moral compass. He surrounds himself with people with like a bit of moral compasses. Is that even the correct yeah, plural word? Close enough. Close word. <laughs> and that's what keeps him grounded, where Negan is surrounded by, like, just a bunch of a-holes and, like, a bunch of thugs, and and it's just, he's the baddest kid in the block. That's why he got... Like, I, I feel like he surrounds himself with a bunch of a-holes and everything. That's fine. But he's pretty... Negan may surround himself with a bunch of, like, a-holes and everything, but, like, still, like, he he does, like, an eye-for-an-eye sort of thing. I feel like Rick would do pretty much the exact same thing if something happened to his people. Like, he'd just be like, oh, you killed my guy. 
we're going after you now. But, like, everybody's so, like, going ho about, like, Rick that it's, like, just okay. Like, mm-hmm. well, I mean, he goes about it a little differently. He's a little more violent about it. Rick's a little more like, oh, hey, I'm going to shoot you in the head now. I mean, even even look at the um, the cop when they were trying to save um, Beth. Oh, um, he's like, stop, stop, Bob, stop, yeah. and he just hits him with the car, kills him. Done. Hey, he should have he <laughs> stopped, man. Like they, um, but remember, even in that, um, he wanted to go guns blazing in the in the hospital, but Tyrese talked him out of it. I feel like somebody like Negan wouldn't get talked out of it. Um, nobody would stand up to him. He'd just be like, all right, we're gonna kill everybody, so we're gonna kill everybody. So Rick can be talked out of things. When they went, when they found Jesus, they had no reason to keep him alive. <laughs> they found Jesus. They found Jesus. <laughs> yeah. um, they just tied him up and just left him to be, even though he's super ninja and still got to them. I mean, he he didn't like attack them like violently. He he's, punched them and stuff. But that's that's like nothing. He stole their car. Yeah. Um, it, when they when he met with Hilltop, he didn't go. Like, I'm going to take all your stuff. He was like, alright, we you have a problem, we are strong enough, or so we think, to eliminate that problem for you in exchange for a services. They're pretty much doing what the savers are doing, but a nicer way. They're not going to well, beat the head out of somebody. Well, well, for well, going back to Hilltop, we go right to, oh, hey, you didn't give us all of our stuff, says Negan, and then... He's like, oh, let me stab Gregory. Oh, wait, Rick just got involved and just killed this guy for no reason. Because... Literally no reason. That guy was going to, like, stab Rick. He had a he, knife to Rick's throat. He doesn't know even what the situation is. He just went straight in. Nope, done. Hey, He's dead. Hey, if, and then and he's just like, what? Like, it's a normal <laughs> thing. Like, what? If, if I had a knife pulled to my neck, even not knowing the situation, I'm going to, like, stop them. So, it's... Every, every reason that Rick does... Um, everything he does is to protect his group and his family. So, like I said, season two, the guys in the bar, he didn't want to give up where the farm was. Like, so he shot those guys. They were going to pull on them first. Uh, season three with the, the governor, pretty much. Um, and season four with, um, and season five with the, the cannibals. He, he promised he was going to murder Gareth and he did. That's because Gareth was going to eat them. Well, yeah. You cannot justify. <laughs> you just can't justify cannibalism. I, I'm not gonna justify a, cannibalism. As, that, that's just a little much. That's pretty. That's pretty extreme. If I'm, but, if somebody's going to eat me, I'm going to. But even with the, even with the cannibals, when he first went in there, he didn't even get give them a chance to explain anything. He just saw, oh, Poncho, oh, watch, yeah, oh, let me his, attack you. <laughs> like what? Because he had, he how had the watch. How do you go straight to attack? Don't like say a word. Like, like I understand that they're terrible people. That, that's right. that's great and everything, but like, that's that's just ridiculous. <laughs> he asked them. He asked them, "Where do you get the watch?" And he, they totally lied, and they they could just been like, "Yeah, we we have our your buddies in the cart, you know," and just pulled guns on them there. So <sighs> he had his, he has very good like into it. Even with Joe, um, the the Marauders, like mm, yeah. they were he was just sleeping in a house they found. They came and ransacked it. He had to kill him because they were going to kill him and. They wanted to kill Rick and Michonne and Carl, and he defended them, so. Yeah. Um, Moral compass. Negan does not have it. Even, I don't know, even going back to, like, Negan, um, he, uh, I don't know, he, he's basically doing the same thing. He just wants to protect his people. Protect his people, though. He's protecting their people through a service. Through, through um, fear and terror. And through a service. muscle, <laughs> <laughs> like like I said, uh, Rick leads through leadership. Um, Negan th- leads through like a, a dictatorship. He burns half. He burns his people's faces when they when they commit adultery, or whatever it's, it is. It's like, exactly like eye for an eye. It's it's exactly that. It, it's a code where it doesn't like necessarily need to happen. It it's, works. It's he's, not. He's one of the strongest groups. It totally works. It's it's, <laughs> it's pretty much barbaric. Um, in the sense that, and look at the time they're living in. <laughs> you can you, you can get along further if you have people uniting against you. Even though Rick had its had his deterrers, like like people in Alexandria who wanted to um, rise up and like do a coup against him, like he stopped that real quick. He was just like, but he didn't kill him. 
at all. Yeah, but he let zombies kill him. He's just like, oh, whoops, that guy died. Well, he got his face bitten. Oh, so whoops, you can see that the... guy died too. Uh, oh, Rick's, Rick's <laughs> awful. Rick's awful. Oh, dead. Michonne stabbed him or something. Yeah. Um, I, I do admit, probably the, the, the husband thing was a little Shane-esque in the sense that, like, he uh, pretty much... He did, he did not have to get involved. However, in there was a reason to get involved and that he was like the, the domestic abuse that Jesse's husband had towards her and the kids. I don't know. That's that's really got nothing to do with him, though. Like, if, if he would just mind his own business. But you, you let that happen, though? Like, I mean, this is not regular. If it was regular times, there's, there's, there's people for that. But this is not regular times. A, he's the only doctor. It doesn't speak for anything he does that's that's besides the point he's a doctor though like that's very hard to come by the only other person that they had was what a psychologist or something and you can't uh, i don't know you can't really denise yeah i'm sure they've lost a lot more lives because a she doesn't know what she's doing (laughs) b what, what was his name Ron? No, that was the son. The Ron, yeah. Um, I, don't I don't even remember his name. Jerkface. Yeah. <laughs> he was a surgeon. Like, that's so useful. Like, do you know how many people could have been saved because of Rick being an idiot and getting involved in things that don't involve him? <laughs> it's it's the end just find means. I don't know. He, he wants to save his people, but he puts them in such a weird situation. It's just like, oh, like, this guy's beating his wife and his children... But he's also the only doctor, so... You you save one to... You kill one to save a thousand? Like, I guess that's the mentality of it in a very primitive... Yeah, but you say, primitive... he's, you say he's doing it for his people, but yet he gets rid of the only surgeon slash doctor. Denise is doing <laughs> just fine. Right now. Barely! She saved Carl. Carl doesn't have an eye! <laughs> hey, and the surgeon would not have saved that. that his eye was ready. You don't know that! His eye was already gone. I don't know that. His eye was already gone. Maybe he's got magic fingers. No. No, he's... <laughs> no, he can't save the eye once it's gone. His... The bullet fragmented into, like... Maybe his... maybe he could have done an eye transplant from Ron. Modern technology doesn't even have eye transplants. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's, like, magic surgeon, like I said. I never know. <laughs> no. Not at all. So... We'll never know, because he's dead now, because Rick's an idiot. Because he was <laughs> he was a bad man, and he needed to, uh... I'm not gonna disagree. He was, he, a, he was a pretty bad man, but... Still doctor. Mm-hmm. So, all along you're saying that Negan always has a, a rhyme or reason for what he does. And yeah. you think it's on the same level as Rick. Just pretty much the, the opposite... Uh, opposite side of a coin, basically. Yeah, the same side of the coin. Same side of the coin? No, whatever you said. You said it, you said it right, whatever. I'm trying to be all philosophical here. Um, let's see. Anything else? Like, I don't know. Anything with Rick, I just feel like there's a whole big, like, butterfly effect type thing. Like, mm-hmm. if he didn't do this, like, all this would have been fine. Mm-hmm. Like, stuff like that. Like, anything. I still don't think that Negan's a... a bad guy or good no he's he's a totally bad guy because i just can't get over the fact that he met hilltop and the first thing he does is bash somebody's skull in and it's like all right this is what the agreement is now get to teach him his boss mm-hmm. and that's why in the comics he has people who defect against him thus leading him to lose the uh the war now if he did that being a nice guy, not burning people's faces off, maybe he would have like a, a stronger core. All right, hold on a second. Let, let's let's get real for a second. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you ready? Uh huh. So, if Rick didn't kill the doctor, right, and basically become the leader of Alexandria, right, and lead that whole group out to stop those walkers, the horde, right, and everything, that's another thing. All right, um, Rick would have been in Alexandria when the wolves attacked, and then the wolves wouldn't have killed people. And there wouldn't be zombies inside, either. No, the wolves would have attacked regardless. The wolves would have attacked regardless, but Rick would have been there. Rick would have been there, but... Hey, Rick would have been there. Um, who else would have been there? Sasha would have been there, their sharpshooter. Just take him out. Daryl, Abraham, Daryl. All of their, all their big, the big guys. The like, big guns. The big guns would have been there. However, what if the wolves got the, the sneak up on them? And if all the people there, they all died. 
They wouldn't have because Sasha was Sasha would have been there with her sharpshooting skills mm-hmm. on the tower because the other guy doesn't care. He's just an idiot. He's just like, oh nope, I'm just gonna go wherever, go drive a truck into the wall or something. Carol was there, and Carol Carol's making cookies for Tobias. <laughs> Carol killed a a a bunch of them, and she was she was the MVP in that episode. Yeah, after like like ten or twenty people died, maybe the same amount would have died. Anyway. I doubt it. Uh, and the wall wouldn't have been broken either. Wouldn't have had to deal with that either. And Glenn wouldn't have almost died. <laughs> almost died. But what if Sasha was the sharpshooter and she still missed the guy coming in the car and it's still... Like, maybe the zombies would have happened regardless because that guy would have knocked down the, the tower regardless. You don't know that. Sasha's a good sharpshooter, but can she hit a driver like, I think going so. down now? Pretty sure. Uh, I think her, her, her whole deal is a sharpshooter. <laughs> maybe. But it led to, um, like you said, butterfly effect, led to the collapse of the wall, Deanna dying, the zombies overrunning, and Rick rising up as a leader and showing and unifying all the Alexandrians and killing the zombies. That brought Alexandria closer together. Mm. And if that didn't happen, then maybe they're not as strong as they are now. I mean, we don't know how they were before Rick got there. Without things, the unity. Things got really weird when Rick got there. Yeah, and they were <laughs> they were just delusional. They were naive to what was going on. They were in the wall since it started. Like, they were, they were doing just fine. They they were going to... They were minding their own business. No, because the wolves would have found them regardless. The saviors would have found them regardless. And they would have just been... They have weapons. But do they have fighters? Not really. Yeah, so they would have just been like Hilltop. They would have ran out of bullets, and yeah, they, they would have had to use a... Uh, they would have had Rick there anyway, though. I'm saying if Rick didn't, like... If Rick didn't show up, that would have been a whole show different up. story. Yeah. But if Rick did show up and didn't become the leader and defended them against the wolves, it would have been fine. Like, I think eventually Jesus would have ran into them. Like, they're going out for supply runs and stuff, and then it would have been fine. And then... would have had to deal with... You would have had two doctors, one in Hilltop, one in Alexandria. And but the saviors... But the saviors would have had just another group to uh, bully and, like, have more supplies, and they would have had to... Uh... Gun unchecked. Because the kingdom still wasn't, like, fighting off this, uh, the saviors. Uh, the kingdom is another community that is going to be, I guess, uh, portrayed in the... Did they, did they... They didn't mess with the saviors, right? Like... I don't... Like I, the I think sa- the saviors were aware of them. But they didn't, like, go after them because they're terrifying and have a tiger, right? I don't remember, I don't, actually. I don't think they ever went for them. They didn't have... They didn't give them half the supplies either? I, I don't think they ever, like... Went against them. That, that's a weird group to go against, I feel like. It's just like, oh. Because they have armor. Yeah. Literal armor. Yeah. I mean, bullets go through armor. That's kind of why bullets beat swords. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's true. Unless they have, like, enhanced armor that I don't know about. <laughs> Whatever. But, yeah. Overall, I don't think Rick is as bad as Negan. I think Negan is just a lot more terrifying and a lot more eviler. And. Mm. And that, but I mean, even going by the current comics, um, <laughs> Rick's still asking Negan for his like advice and stuff. I yeah, mean, and but Rick has gone tame. Rick saved Negan when he didn't have to. He was showing, he was showing the uh, yeah, that's the morality. The first time out of like how long? <laughs> Let's see. Um, well, in that whole story arc, I guess that was the first time because he didn't really kill anybody because he was uh, being handcuffed by yeah, the saviors. So. Getting wrecked the whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because of stupid mistakes he made in the past. Stupid mistakes that... No. It just it just happened. It was just... He needed to do it. The saviors attacked them initially, and they, they defended themselves. It's like the the bullies who were... Or the people who were just like... They make fun of you, and you make fun of them back, and they're like, Oh my god, you're the worst person ever, even though they started it. That's <laughs> that's literally what Negan is. He's a, he's a big baby. And he's just charismatic and has followers for now, because they don't know any better. Mm. He has he has like seven wives too. I was, I was. I mean, it's a different world, I guess. I I can't say a whole lot yeah. for that. <laughs> He's not morally sound, <laughs> and Rick still has. I feel like his moral compass is is intact for the for the most part. Maybe it's like sixty five percent there still. I mean, even so, like he's probably just gonna teach 
Carl the ways that he's doing now, and Carl's gonna mess everybody up Carl's, when he becomes leader. Carl's growing up and seeing what he does, and Carl's Carl's affected in ways that Carl's doing some shady stuff too. So yeah, wait in the show or in the comic? Comic. Oh, uh, nothing really shady in the show yet. No, he's still he's still coping over his eye he, loss. He's, he's still good. Yeah, he can't see I what's mean, coming. I mean, he killed his mom. That kind of sucked. But. Yeah. Well, he had to again. Yes, yeah, was... that that was kind of. But yeah, there, and that's that's that. That was like a little rant. So if anybody out there wants to chime in on this conversation, um, tell us what you think. Is Rick just a jerk? Is he lost all ways of the Force and gone to the dark side? Is Negan the man? Is Negan? Is he the man with the plan? Or... Is he just misunderstood? He's just like one big teddy bear with like a baseball bat full of rob- barbed wire he just wants to sell you a car that's all he uh, <laughs> man imagine if all car salesmen used car sales were like that just they turn into that when like <laughs> and the the ropes are off yep. but well there yeah so if you enjoyed this rant um like us comment and favorite and share us around so we want to get this discussion out because we, we are big walking dead fans and we're just getting really hyped for that season finale because it's going to be something spectacular. Something special. Jeffrey D. Morgan, the comedian, it's going to be Negan and he's gonna he's gonna nail it out of the park. This yeah. is this is a really good casting that they had, so anything else? Any last words? Pro no. Negan? No. Just, just looking forward. Okay. It's gonna be wonderful to see Glenn get his head bashed in. Hmm. Or Daryl. Glenn. Hey, there's still a chance it could be it's Daryl. It's gonna though. be Glenn. Right. Glenn survived too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for Rob and Christina, she's around. She's just say hi. Hi. Sorry, guys. I have nothing to say about The Walking Dead because I'm I'm just straight up not really interested. So <laughs> unpopular, popular opinion. <laughs> All right, and I'm Angel, and signing off. Bye.